Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and thanks to a um, massive Mice Chat update this morning. We have some great photos of the Toontown construction progress and we're going to go through them right now here. So let's check out these overhead photos that were taken recently. And this picture uh, photo below you can see Toontown's tree or Trippendale's treehouse which is completely demolished. Um, but the mountains surrounding it are completely still there, so not sure what's going there. If there's just nothing, but it doesn't look like there'll be a connection to Star Wars or Galaxy's Edge because it's very far away. As you see, there's some backstage stuff behind there with that access road right behind that mountain. Moving on to Gadget's Go Coaster. Lots of scalping on the mountain behind Gadget's Go Coaster. Not sure if that's going to be rethemed or just have a nice paint job. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just have a nice paint job based on the concept art. Gadget's Go Coaster, though, is going to have a new theme. And hopefully it um, has a theme to, I don't know, like Goofy or something. Uh, or one of the Fab Five, char Fab Five characters. That would be pretty good because not one I never knew who Gadget was. Not many people, certainly nowadays, know who Gadget is or ever watched his show. So... That could definitely use a nice touch up. I wonder if we'll get a repaint as well, either to a different color or just continuing with the red. I like the red. Moving on to that's what that, that's Donald's house right there. Getting a nice little paint job and the the uh, what should we call it? The expansion or the concept art looks like it's got a slight expansion. Maybe the little addition on the ground level. So if you're watching that to the left hand side over there. Donald's boats are going to get a little retheme as well due to the press uh, announcement that said it will be. So that's cool. Can't wait to see that on our scaffolding. As you can see, Mickey's Fountain over there and the trolley tracks and trolley station, all that is gone. That's where the dirt is right now where that, that backhoe and that truck is. That used to be the, the park area. And the fountain, another fountain that's gone is the one here by Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit is again safe, safe for the time being, or not for the time being, it's safe for this retheme. But the fountain is gone, it's replaced by an interactive Mickey and Minnie fountain that I think will sing or talk or something. But uh, yeah, it'll be an interactive Mickey and Mickey fountain, Mickey and Minnie fountain. So yes, there'll be a new fountain there to replace the old one. And, and the big dirt patch to the right hand side in the upper uh, right hand corner that will be the Centennial Park area and where those trucks are is the entrance to the land um, which is just all dirt they really did a quick job demolishing that um, just like they're doing a quick job demolishing downtown Disney the West End here is again a noticeable change there's a fountain that's not coming back the fountain of the Mickey and the fountain by Mickey and Minnie's houses the houses themselves are just going to get enhancements. They're not going anywhere. So those meet and greets will still be there. Which is fantastic. And where the again. You still see the, some of the outlines of the trolley tracks down there. But they will be all gone. Um, and they will have a nice, nice little green space with a tree. Will be in this cul-de-sac area. Um, which will be quite nice. Let's have more shade in Toontown. And I'm so glad this land is getting a full enhancement. With... The opening of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which is right there. Yes, this is a rare side of Mickey and Minnie's. We don't get to see the back side, obviously, because we're in the land. So, we don't, um, can't see what's going on behind. But yeah, that's the massive show building with all those HVAC and air conditioning pipes and boxes on the lower uh, right hand of the picture. And then you can see the El Capitoon entrance of the theater to the attraction, that marquee right there, taking shape, and a lot of it's still under scaffolding in the center of the picture. Cannot wait for this ride. It looks so great in Florida. Again, you can watch my POV reaction to that um, from a couple years back. So good, so cute, and so really, you no know, height requirement. It's great for everyone. I cannot wait for everyone to experience this attraction. I really hope Toontown stays open later uh, instead of closing at 8 p.m. Hopefully, it stays open until midnight with the rest of the park because this is a massive e-ticket attraction and people are not going to want it to leave to be closed early like Rise of the Res Rise of the Resistance currently still does for some reason. Hopefully Rise can stay open later as well. 
And lastly, here's a just an overall shot of the land. Um, again, you can see the where the Toontown Hollywood's logo style is. There's Chippendale Treehouse right there, and Mickey and Minnie's houses, the uh, Donald's Boaten house, and Goofy's house under scaffolds over there, and again, just the main drag land. All every segment of asphalt or trolley track or trolley station, all gone. Just just dirt now, complete and utter dirt. Absolutely insane how fast they just tore that out. Um, and, but super exciting how fast it's going to be constructed. I can't wait to see what the new pavement looks like. And there again, it's probably not going to be real grass, but just like a painted green pavement for the El Capitoon Park. And I'm excited to see how the new walkway layout shapes out as the walkway is going to come right from the entrance down there on the picture. And it's going to loop all the way around the Centennial Park and going to meander its way back to Mickey and Minnie's houses in that cul-de-sac where instead of a fountain again there'll be a nice tree and a little park another little park area I'm not sure if that area will be real grass or not because that will be more I feel like that might be more of a sitting area I'm not sure that could be real grass or also more painted and concrete but I'm excited for the new theme of Gadget's Go Coaster again I've said this in previous videos but if you've never seen those comment below what theme would you want Gadge Go Coaster to be? I say one of the Fab Fives so and maybe Goofy, Daisy. You can put Goofy's Coaster up here and retheme to Goofy Sky School or something else or just call it something else or have just two Goofy Coasters. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm super excited for that. What do you guys think of Toontown? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates and as always, have a fantastic, fantastic day.